If you want to see me create another green look, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elaine, and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup, or hmm, makeup. I have been on a quest to create green looks. And uh, the whole premise of this is that I have always thought that because I have green eyes, that I my eyes would clash with most green eyeshadows, unless it's one of those uh, edgy colors like lime green or whatever, where I can kind of get away with it. Well, it's been a journey so far. I've done quite a few looks. I'm creating a lookbook for each of the looks that I'm I'm creating. If I don't forget to take a good picture. <laughs> and um, trying to create a, a, I'm not trying, I am creating a, a look book for a bunch of green looks. And uh, today is the Wild Greens palette's turn. That's kind of a weird way of saying things. Uh, but if you have not seen this palette, it is an Urban Decay palette. It has a very interesting packaging. And as you can tell, the bottom row is what I'm going to be attacking as I create this look. Now, let's just wait for the camera to catch up here. I now have a normal color again. I have been a little bit confused about what I'm going to do with these uh, green looks. Uh, for for this palette and I, I think I want to do something that's a little bit out of my comfort zone uh, as opposed to go with what's comfortable. So I'll call it right away. These three I would be super comfortable using and that is not the point of the challenge. So I'm going to go over here more. So I want to use these two and maybe something from the end here but but these two are the ones that make me nervous and so that is what I need to use for sure. Uh, so I think I'm going to use uh, Super Greens first in the crease and then go from there. For my face right now, you can tell that I do have makeup on. For my brows, I have used the Makeup Forever Brow Box. It's, uh, it's a new one that I've been using now. I have not used it until uh, this week and I'm really enjoying it. It's quite a good brow box, and uh, it should still be available at uh, Sephora or I guess on Makeup Forever site. So this is, I'm really enjoying it. That is what is in my brows. On my lips, I do have this uh, particular color from Urban Decay, and it is a Hi-Fi Shine gloss in Dirty Talk, and I really like the color, and I think it's going to go well with a green look. And for the rest of what is on my face, most of the coloring on my face is actually from the Kelly Contour from Smashbox. And so I've used most of the powders in this uh, six pan face palette. And I'm really, really enjoying it quite a bit. It's been, it's been really nice. Uh, and on my um, uh, eyelids right now, I have used uh, this color right here. Just, just a basic uh, color just to give myself a little flush of uh, color before coming on camera. And one final product is this Natasha Denona uh, Love Glow palette. I'm still making friends with this palette. I'm not quite there yet, but I have used, let me just flip this open because it's a, it's a cream base here. So I've used this as my blush and this as my highlight. So that is what has happened with this today. That's uh, definitely very cream based. And so I'm, I'm okay with, with what I have so far and I'm ready to go right into the Urban Decay palette and create the next green look. So let's get going. I, I said I would use super greens and not be a wuss about it. So I'm going to go right into it. And I'm going to go with the fluffy brush that I used to put the initial uh, kind of bronzer contour, it's a bronzer, this is a bronzer um, that I have already on my eyes. And I'm going to go right into, like I said, the um, super green, super greens, yeah. And load the brush and just give it a go. And this palette, unfortunately, does not have a mirror, just an extra, you know, barrier. So I'm going to use my Kelly contour and use that mirror. It's, it's, it's reasonable. 
Okay, so I'm going to do one eye completely and then do the other eye off camera. So, oh boy. Hopefully I won't get green all over me. Okay, so it's looking like it's doing all right so far. I'm just basically going to cover up all of the, the, um, the, the um, bronze color. I'm going to go straight into the inner lid. I'm going to cover all of that brown and try to create a green base. So I'm just picking up the kick up from the palette and the, the shadows are very powdery in the Wild Greens palette as I'm discovering because I'm just using it now. The only thing I've done so far with the palette is swatch it. But I'm not disappointed by the way it's applying. It's applying really well. I'm going to use my angle brush and just bring that green below the um, on the lower lid. And this is my trusty angled brush and that's what I'm going to use to bring the color down. I've just loaded the brush and I'm going to add that green right here. Okay, pretty effortless. I like that quite a bit. I'm going to go into uh, the Wild Greens and you'll see Chill top, top of the palette right there. This is what I'm going to put on the brow bone, so I'll do that right now. And this is usually the brush I use for the brow bone, so I'm going to go right into Chill which definitely looks like a brow bone highlight. And take care of that right away. Okay, so that looks all right. It's a little bit, a little bit bold, but we're not done with the eye look, so that should be all right. And I think I'm going to go, lots of, lots of kick up, hang on. <laughs> the benefits of having, I have a sink right there, <laughs> so I can get rid of extra, um, little bit of kick up. I'm going to go into, I think I'm going to use a mixture of prickly and twist. I'm going to use these two and see how that goes. I might just use prickly. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of partial to um, that color as opposed to the twist because twist I don't feel is enough green and I'm trying to challenge myself. So I think I'll, I'll skip, I'll skip, I'll stick to prickly and see how it goes. And I'm going to use my multitasker brush from Smashbox because it's going to give me the precision for the uh, inner corner. Hopefully I'm not going to clash too much. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it's very, oh boy. Okay, that is not working at all. <laughs> That is not working at all. I need to put a sticky base in order for that um, <laughs> for that shadow to stick. It, it just crumbled right off. Okay, I had to go behind the camera. <laughs> Some challenges today. And I'm, I picked up the uh, NYX Glitter Glue, which is basically an eyeshadow base. I've got fluff in front of me. And uh, I'm just going to use that to give myself a sticky base. I've got a little bit on the... Uh, brush and I'm going to give myself a sticky base so that I can get prickly on my lid without so much trouble. It was really not good. It was it felt very dry and just was not going to stay put. So this should work much better. And so let's see how that works now. So I'm picking up prickly again. And this time it should behave better. Let's see what happens. I have a feeling it's going to clash with the other shadow, but we'll try. Wow. Okay, it's not too bad as I spread it on, and I need a mirror that is closer to me now. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, this is not this is not bad. It's, this is it's looking good. 
very different from what I was expecting given the pan. So I'm just picking up a little bit more of prickly and just keeping on going on the lid. And I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. This is, this is okay. This is definitely okay. I'm picking up a little bit more prickly and going up a little higher, getting a little bolder. Okay, this is really working for me. I'm happy. I'm really happy about that. So now I want a deeper green on the outer lid. And I think, hmm. I think I'm going to try, oh boy, am I? I think I'm going to try kale first. And if it's not enough, I'll go to stash. But stash is kind of a cop out. Um, if I just use it right off the hop, because stash is a is a color I'm very used to. And it's not all that green and it's kind of kind of too easy. So let's start off with um, kale and go from there. And just for product placement, I'm actually going to use my angle brush. I think it's going to work okay. And as I said, I'm going into kale. And let's just see what I can do. It's not the best. Hmm. Let's cover some of this up here. Ah, it's a little weird. weird but I think I can live with it. It's very close to what I used for another look that was green and I, I don't want to be repeating myself but the greens here that they don't necessarily all work together all that well. It's, I think it's intended to have one or two greens with with more browns and uh, and I think I might just go for that because it's, it's just not looking great as a look. So I tried, I don't feel like I'm, it, it's a cop out. I, I do want to use a deeper color and I do think that I'm going to go into stash because I definitely tried kale and it's it's just, it's too much like the last look I did and I, and I want, I want more variety. So I'm going to go back into that with the angle brush, but I'm going to go into stash, which is a lot deeper of a green and hopefully that will give me a different look from what I did in the previous video. Yeah, that's giving me more appropriate vibes here. I like this a lot more already. And it's definitely green, there's no question, but it's, I was trying to use colors that I haven't used before, you know? But sometimes color theory wins. Okay, so I'm not mad at this. I think it looks good and I'm going to take stash and bring it down to the lower lash line. Okay, and I want to fix this. There's um, some of it got covered up and uh, I want to bring that bright green from the inner lid back. So back to my uh, trusty multitasker brush and I'm going to go right back into prickly and see if I can just get that sparkle back without it going all over the place. Okay, so I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I think it looks all right. Now, um, I think that this is the overall look. I do want to go a little bit with stash into the crease up, up a little higher. So I'm taking this brush again and I'm going to go back into stash but with with the fluffy brush and just get go higher up in the crease. Okay, so that is that is the look that I'm doing for a uh, green look, I should say that I'm doing for today and I'm okay with it. I am going to finish up this eye and then go off camera and replicate it on the other side. So uh, let me see what it is I'm going to do with this side. 
Okay, I am going to use the Fenty Fly Liner and do a, 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 a line on the uh, upper lash line. And using my trusty mirror here. Okay, with a little wing, just a little bit more. Okay, I'm happy with that. That is the liner for that side. Hopefully I'll be able to have twin wings by the time I'm done. And I'm going to use the Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay and hopefully give myself some volume voluminous lashes. I used uh, the Fetish Mascara in a recent video and I was so surprised. I forgot that it's quite, it offers quite a bit of volume and uh, the previous time before this late, latest one, I had used it and it didn't give me great results and for some reason this latest time that I used that Pat McGrath uh, mascara, it was amazing. You know, sometimes you have to try products a few times before deciding how they really perform. It's interesting. And sometimes it has to do with our expectations versus reality, right? Okay, that turned out pretty well. So I am going to, as I said, replicate this look on the other side, and I will show you the final look. Hang tight. Okay, this is the final look. I am definitely getting Poison Ivy vibes from this look. No question. It is... It's intense. It's intense, but not in a bad way. Um, I do think... Ooh, I do think I have a little bit uh, less on this side. Let me just even that out for a sec. Okay, there there we go. It just, it was a little too uh, light on this side and I, I did want it to, to be pretty even. I am really enjoying uh, what I've done here. I, Super Greens was my first foray into this uh, green palette. Uh, and then I ended up using Prickly, obviously, on the inner uh, to two thirds of the lid. That is what the shiny stuff is. And uh, I also used quite a bit of um, kale and stash. So kale is what I just added over here. And then stash is what I used to deepen up the outer lid. I'm pretty happy with the way it uh, turned out. The camera takes a little while to, <laughs> to uh, just adjust back to having seen so much green on the <laughs> on the screen because of the palette which I'm not going to show you too much because otherwise it's going to turn me orange again. I'm really enjoying it. Um, there's only one item that I added to the look that I did not talk about because I did it off camera and that is I added the Gosh Golden Moss uh, liner on the lower lash line and it just went so well with stash and kale that I decided to do that and I think it added a little bit of depth uh, on the outer lower lash line. I'm happy with that. I did uh, attempt a little bit of a wing on each side. I think that turned out okay. I really like the rust type colors. Uh, for example, from Dirty Talk here uh, from Urban Decay. I, I think that the rust color and rusty copper color with the green looks really good. I am a big fan of the fly liner, so I'm happy I used it today. Always works so well for me. Physician's Formula is the liner I have on my upper uh, waterline, and Perversion is the mascara I used today, and I'm really just happy about all of it. And going with that metallic copper that I just talked about for my lips, I also used that type of color uh, from the Natasha um, Denona Love Glow palette, 
by going after uh, this particular cream product and I think it is a very good balance to go with the green. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I chose to use for my face and um, and yeah, I'm. you know what, based on this look, am I really intimidated by green anymore? I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm cured, but along with the cure means that I really like greens and so I'm going to keep on with this project. I, I'm enjoying it. Um, I hope you are too. And if you have some requests for the types of looks, uh, let me know because um, I always like to hear from you and, and it's fun to play and to interact with each other uh, when we are doing these types of looks. So that is it from me. I definitely feel like poison ivy today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this was so much fun. This was really so much fun. I am looking forward to doing more looks and I don't know which palette I'm going to tackle next. Well, I might, I might, let me show you. I'm kind of thinking this is the next one because I can use a lot of the yellows and it's it's kind of it's yellows but yellows and more let me just show you the palette I think I could uh, balance the sunflower palette along with a bunch of greens and I think you'll agree just taking a look at the color story so I think I might just pair that with some greens and, uh, and make it work. And I can use the, the yellows to pair with the greens and the browns to pair with the greens. So I might just do that. Um, but I, I reserve the right to change my mind. Um, but I am, I am really curious about this palette. So I, I might just go there. We'll see. With that, I say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, of course, as usual. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, as always, take care.